If your actions inspire others to dream more, learn more, do more, and become more, you are a leader. Anna Maria Minozzi's leadership role in advocating for policies and programs to assist newcomers is rooted in her own experience. In 1976, she immigrated to Canada. My um, background in education was not recognized. So I find myself with a lot of time in my end, lose, you know, missing my family incredibly, missing my country incredibly, and decided because I've been doing a lot of work back at home um, with women, particularly poverty and working class women, that I needed to get involved in that, in those areas. Through her work, she's opened hundreds of training opportunities for women and new immigrants. Her first job was with the Immigrant Women's Job Placement Center. And after that, she became the executive director of the Working Skills Center for 10 years. We sponsored a number of organizations that still exist. That was our approach to leadership and community development. We did not want to start programs within the organization and making our own organization huge and empire building kind of kind of a thing, but created agency somewhere else for other community where they could actually grow and be a service in different geographical areas of, of the city. Anna Maria is co-founder of Davenport Perth Neighborhood Center and One Step. She was on the board of trustees of the Ontario Science Center and president of the Ontario Council of Agencies Serving Immigrants. Um, she played a critical role in ensuring that the, the council developed and, paid, and continue to pay attention, and that's true even now, that legacy lives on here at Okasi, that we pay attention to issues of governance, that the council is a model for its member agencies in terms of how you run a community-based organization, that we have to be seen to be credible. We have to be seen to be legitimate, not only to our member agencies, but to, I think, the people who are most important, the immigrants and refugees who are coming in to use the services of our member agencies. That's the work that she did in terms of anti-poverty. That's the work that she did in terms of women and, and women's connection, particularly single mothers' connection to issues of poverty. And that, that legacy lives on in how we do our analysis, even today here at Okasi. In 1991, Anna Maria decided to start her own consulting business. And so I could do a lot of work in community development, assisting small agencies to become more efficient so that they could continue to survive, um, be part of government appointed kind of advisory bodies so that I could speak about the importance of um, training as a tool for equity for women. She's done work for both the federal and provincial governments. One undertaking was a two-year project to improve access of abused women to the service system. She works with colleges and universities and the Toronto District School Board. Projects include diversity and equal access training and building partnerships with newcomers and women's organizations. Her work with community agencies and other organizations include conferences, workshops, training programs, and strategic planning, to name a few. As chairperson of the Toronto Homelessness Strategic Direction Group, Anna Maria helped establish two major funding mechanisms to address homelessness here in Toronto. Anna Maria is passionate about the work she does. Personally, it's very important that I look at the mirror and be satisfied with who I am. And uh, being true to the uh, teaching of my family, as I told you, um, so that we sort of create or be part of creating um, uh, just a more justice, a more just society. So that's that's the personal motivation, and on a more sort of um, larger um, I th uh, society level, um, I think that when you're lucky, when you're privileged, um, that you need to return to society what society gives you. And I also am a strong believer that if we all work together. You know they, that you are creating a better society, and so this is very important to ensure that um, people that are marginalized are actually brought into be active and recognized and valued. As she is well loved within our community, and even now, Anna continues to work silently. She continues to build capacity. She continues to bring in younger women 
and so that she's building the capacity so she's passing on she's passing on her knowledge she is passing on the legacy in terms of building community within Toronto and building community that's accessible building community that's about equity building community that's about anti-racism and anti-sexism building community that recognizes all of our identities and that all of our identities exist at the same time she's fabulous Microskills is pleased to present the 2009 Margot Franson Leadership Award to Anna Maria Minozzi.